Apostolic Christian Assembly, Perambu Ministries welcomes you for Thought for the Night Devotion. God bless you as you prayerfully listen to this brief devotion. Greetings to you this evening in the promise-keeping name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is God's plan and purpose that each one of us experience success in our life, but it is not determined by how educated or talented we are. But it is the Lord who will grant us success in life. What the Lord has purposed to do in each one of our lives, He will bring it to pass. For our brief devotion this evening, let us read Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11. I am reading it from the New International Version. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. One of the meanings of the word prosper in the strong dictionary is to be successful. It is God's plan that His people be successful, that His people live their lives far beyond the average. Though we may go through difficult times in life, life may be challenging, but God wants His people to have success in whatever they do. When the people of the world strive to be successful, we as God's people don't have to strive, but it is our God who will cause us to be successful if we can live with the principles set by God. Success starts with changing our perspective and embracing God's. If you want success God's way, then you have to change from doing things your way and do it God's way. For us to be successful, God has given us His Word, which is our blueprint. And in His Word, He has given us all the information we need to live a life of success. We see in the life of Joshua, he was chosen to lead the people of God into the land of promise after the death of Moses. Joshua seen his responsibility as a difficult one. It was something new to him. But the Lord encourages him and says that he will experience good success. And the Lord also gave him the conditions to experience it. The Bible says in the book of Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. But then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. We find three things in this verse for Joshua to be successful, and the Lord expects these from each one of us. The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. I need to confess the word of God, that is having faith in God's word. Always confess words of faith in your life. Have faith in the word of God, for without faith it is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. It is possible to tell if a person is believing right by what he says. If his confession is wrong, his believing is wrong. If his believing is wrong, his thinking is wrong. If his thinking is wrong, it is because his mind has not been renewed by the Word of God. So we need to have faith in the Word of God. If God has spoken, just believe it. Think of the life of Abraham. If you read Romans chapter 4, verse 19 and 20, And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead, when he was about a hundred years old, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. So God expects us to have faith, unmindful of the difficult situation and circumstance. The next thing that we have to do is meditate the Word of God. The more I meditate the Word, I am strengthened. And when faced with difficult situation in life, I have the strength to overcome it. I can live a life of success and not a life of defeat. When we read the Word of God, it just gets into our mind and there's every possibility that we can forget about it. But when we meditate His Word, it's getting the Word into our heart. We get the Word fully absorbed into our spirit and this is a blessing to us. To meditate, we must be alone, exclude all sense of hurry. We need to give attention to His Word where the Word of God dwell richly in each one of us. And then we need to observe all that's written in His Word. I call this obedience. God not only wants us to be hearers of His Word, but doers of His Word. More than what we do for God, God wants us to live in obedience to Him. The Hebrew word for obedience is Shammah, which means to listen and obey. We are good listeners, but very poor in obeying the Word of God. God is our supreme authority. We have been created by Him as His creation. We need to live in total obedience to whatever He has commanded us, because He knows the best for each one of us. The very purpose God has given us is commandments. It is for our blessing. And for us to inherit those blessings, we need to live in obedience to God's word. Think of the life of Peter. He toiled all night and caught nothing. But now the Lord tells him to cast his net for a catch. 
Peter didn't try to reason out things, but rather he told the Lord, I will do as you have said. And he cast on the net and they caught a great multitude of fishes. Peter's failure was turned into a tremendous success because of his obedience. Obedience to God in small things will enable us to experience success in life. Dear friend, having faith in the word of God, meditating his word and living in complete obedience to his word will make us experience success in life. The Bible says in Psalm 1, reading verses 1 to 3, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law though he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that brings forth fruit in a season, whose leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. If you want to experience success in life, have faith in God's word. Meditate the word of God. Live in obedience to God's word. Your life will be a life of success. May God bless you and may God be with you. Amen.